You are listening to Geek a Week. Aloha, everybody. I am Len. I am your host for Geek a Week 2.0. Welcome back to Geek a Week. This is the podcast of the Art Project, where I'm trying to connect with different geeks. And draw them as trading cards. Now, you might know today's geek from his comedic collaborations with fellow Geek A Weeker, Chris Hardwick, and their comedy team, Hard and Firm. In a previous life, today's geek worked as a visual effects artist for both movies and television. And in 2010, he released what was, in my opinion, one of the funniest comedy albums of the year, entitled The Very Last Songs I Will Ever Record, Volume 1. He's hilarious, and I'm so proud to have him as a Geek A Week. Would you please help me in welcoming to the Geek A Week fold, Mr. Mike Furman. Len, brother. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, man, how's it going? All right. It's great to be able to talk to you because we actually, we actually have not talked in person before. We've only talked online. And, uh, yeah, that's true. We have a lot of mutual friends, and uh, yeah. and I've I've uh, I've wanted to make you a geek a week for a while. I was just looking for the right time. So uh, oh, thanks, man. This thank is... you. I've, I've been loving them, and I, I uh, by the way, I, I I didn't realize this. Are we recording? Is this a, a podcast or is it? We, we uh, are, but you know what? I can edit all this shit out. It's not a big deal. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just I just didn't I just realized I was like, oh wait a minute. In fact, I hope it's okay that it's on the phone. For that reason, maybe I would have said Skype, but. Uh, but this is probably better. This Are you is probably sure? more, we can do Skype. It's not a big deal. I mean, well, it's a laptop, so okay. it's like yeah, that's fine. It might be a little funky. Yeah, okay. This works. Um, this I'm giving you more to edit. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I, 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 I'm so honored to be in that list. I, they're so good. There's, and I didn't realize Paul and Storm wrote the back, so I'm a little nervous. Oh <laughs> about no, what they're gonna yeah. choose to focus on. Oh no, you know what? They, uh, we, we, one of the things that that it's it's Storm that usually writes most of the backs, and uh, mm-hmm. Storm and I have come into a, come into agreement. Actually, Storm had decided that it's it's we never we never skewer anybody. Unless, uh, yeah. you know, there's no reason to skew anybody. The whole idea of Geek A Week is to elevate the person. Uh, so nice. uh, we'll never, ever uh, 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 trash you or anything. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Unless you ask to be trashed, in which case then we'll, we'll do the, our best in that. I, so. <laughs> I, kind of, I kind of expect it. I kind of assume they're going to do something, but, but uh, that's all right. Well, it depends, it depends on, on how I draw you, too. Because you know, Storm draws a lot of the... Uh, he draws a lot of the uh, inspiration from the backs from from my art, so uh, we'll, oh, okay. we'll see how it goes. It'll be great, and I'm excited to see uh, to see how how it goes. I, I I have no preconceived notions of what I want to draw you as, so it's uh, you know this is why we do these interviews. By the way, do you have a little bit a little bit of a cold? Um, no, not really, but I'm, you know maybe a little bit. It's my my nose is a little funky. But uh, it's not. It's kind of residual. It's been kind of been hanging on for the last like three weeks. So. Yeah, I, I have a, I have a one and a half year old, so he is, and he's in daycare. No. which I don't know if you know. Do you have kids? I do have kids. <laughs> yeah, the, the second we even thought about, ah, should we go to daycare? His nose starts running, and we're like, what? what's going on? <laughs> so it, it's like it's great. I guess it, you know, in theory, it's still like we're building up the immunity, and he's going to be, you know, he'll never get sick again. But we all have to go through, you know. Sounding like we do coke every ten minutes. <laughs> okay, so uh, so I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. Well, I wasn't going to say anything, but I was worried that yeah. uh, you were enjoying I'm, I'm Boston a little to... bit too much. <laughs> That's right. I'm looking forward to my Geek a Week card uh, rolling it up and doing coke. Through. Is that okay? Is it... <laughs> That's fine. Is it too cool for a Geek of the Week card? Is that too... No, that's uh, we that that's kind of the unspoken thing of what they're used for. You know, that's the under oh, that's that's the underground of them. So it's uh, yeah, it's that's, that's why the side has a little measurement of how long of a how awesome you are rail you're doing. Has a little <laughs> measurement you can use. Actually, yeah, that's the thing. I, if, if nothing else, maybe my Geek of the Week card could be functional as far as not doing coke, of course, actually, but but like you know, a ruler or like you know, oh, that would be like, cool. Yeah. You know, Size compares. I like things. Uh, this is a uh, one centimeter. This is a. Yeah. Oh, you know that's that's actually a good idea. You could, yeah, I mean it's they're only two inches, so you have to only measure things that are two inches or smaller, or three inches right. or smaller. So there's a Paul and Storm joke here, but I'm not gonna <laughs> go there. Um, <laughs> uh, 
so anyway, uh, yeah, it's it's. I, I'm excited to have you be a part of the um, of of the deck. And uh, yeah, exactly. basically, what I do is I have the same um, questions. I do the same interview with everybody I I, I talk to. It kind of levels the playing field between nice. uh, all the geeks I've talked to, uh, with a couple variations on the questions. There are some ones I get to put some some fun stuff in there. But uh, for most right. of the, it's the same uh, it's the same interview. So uh, with mm-hmm. that in mind, if you are ready, uh, I am sure. ready to interview you. By the way, before we start, okay. before yeah. we start, I want to tell you uh, your your album uh, is a is a popular one around here. Like. Uh, oh, cool. <laughs> I, we, it was uh, Sketchy Dudes is probably one of the funniest songs I've heard in probably the last, like, uh, I don't know, just a long time. I mean, I, it's, the oh, only, thanks, man. it's the only song I've laughed out loud at in, like, I can remember. <laughs> oh, nice. Thanks, man. Wow, that's really cool. Thank it you. Was, and, uh, and uh, you know, it's it's one of those rare uh, rare comedy albums that I can play for the family Everybody loves it. Everybody, everybody shares it with everybody, and 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 they just, you know, it's. I, I just wanted to tell you that because you're very popular around here. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. That's really cool to hear. You know, that, that's that is kind of the. I, I love hearing that people can, you know, play with like, oh, my kid likes it, you know, stuff like that. Because I, I, I definitely try to, you know, it is a conscious effort to not include really dirty stuff. Because I also, I mean, I work with Hardwick. So, right. <laughs> obviously, I'm well versed in filth, <laughs> being a, you know, a, a loser like that, which is fun. But I do, I really do like, you know, I, I, I'm very happy to hear that, that, you know, that it is approved for the whole family. Oh, so it's really cool. it's it's a uh, it's one of our favorite little albums to play. So we uh, mm-hmm. we share it with everybody we can. It's great stuff. Cool. So, Thanks, uh, man. Thank you. Oh, no problem. I, uh, you deserve it. I, actually, I told my niece last night, I'm talking to Mike Furman. She's like, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's like really my, my, little, my little boy is a, a little too young to understand the interviews and all that stuff, but we do have, the, uh, we have your book with, uh, with George and Traces. Um, oh. the, Nice. Yeah, so he, that's that's on his shelf. <laughs> I don't think he quite would get like uh, what the idea of an artist is yet, but yeah. uh, soon he will know. Well, at least he can enjoy. It's it. so great. It's such a great book too. Oh yeah, your 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 artwork is awesome, man. Thank you, thank you. Um, uh, okay, here we go with the interview. Um, okay, Mike, you have been chosen as yeah. a Geek a Week. How does this make you feel? It makes me feel geeky. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, yeah, you have. A lot of success, uh, not only as a uh, as a comedian, but also as a musician, and uh, you know it's it's you're, you're, it's exponentially growing as days go on here. So, what would you say has been the secret to your success so far? Oh boy, let's see, sleep deprivation for one. Um, let's see, I guess in keeping with the geek theme, uh, a lot of studying would probably be in the list of uh, things and glad i've done studying of music and other stuff um and let's see a lot of stealing of other people's materials and then killing them before anyone finds out who they are <laughs> now if you had, <laughs> if you had to stop what you were doing take up mm-hmm. a totally different career what do you think you'd choose to do uh honestly i think maybe beekeeping really yeah, I love bees. I've always, when I was a little kid, I uh, I I just used to love bees. And honey is maybe my favorite thing in the world, uh, food-wise. And uh, and I used to pet bees as a little kid, so I've always just kind of had this like, ah, some reason they let me pet them. I don't know why that is. And then I I just have this like kind of I don't even think I'm talking to my wife about that, but like kind of this, you know, if all else fails, I really would dig. Just kind of like I feel like my purpose on earth is, you know fulfilled if i if i worked on with bees i don't know why but i mean really like skill set wise i know nothing about them other than how to pet them and by now i probably just sung um maybe i'm a little more uh threatening as a six foot man than i was as a two foot child but um but skill set wise i probably do visual effects i guess or something like that where i kind of know it already um or some kind of graphic design of some sort but, um, yeah, I'd like to think beekeeping. <laughs> you know, you could actually, uh, it, getting into beekeeping is not 
that difficult to do. So it's actually something a lot of people don't know what they want to do uh, if they were to start something totally different. But getting into that is actually a very simple way. There's actually a, a, an easy way to get into it, and it doesn't that? require too much uh, startup costs, I guess. Really? Yeah, I'm serious. That's because nobody really knows what they're doing. So you can just kind of make it up. And, uh, <laughs> well, you just, there's a PDF online you print out that says you're certified. And, uh, if you're serious about being an apiarist, I I, I know um, uh, I think that's right. Apiarist is that what they call them? Um, I don't know. I think apiary. So I know apiary. Yes. Uh, well, if you, I, I, I guess I'm trying to be more uh, fancy than I need to be. If you want to be a beekeeper, <laughs> I know some people who are beekeepers, and uh, I'd be happy to put you in touch with them and see how you know. It's uh, really I, I, seriously. <laughs> my brother-in-law, <laughs> my brother-in-law is a uh, is a beekeeper. He keeps uh, he keeps at least really? three, two hives. Yeah, yeah. No, that's rad. Yeah, I'm. T- I'm told. No, I, we'll talk. We'll talk afterwards. And if you're serious about okay. it, and you know who else is a is a geek a week, and also a uh, uh, a beekeeper is uh, Neil Gaiman. Oh, is he really? Yes. I didn't know that. Yes. He did like on the side, just kind of like yeah. yeah he he he, uh, he has actually an, here's <laughs> uh, another geek a week. Sharon Steitler uh, mm-hmm. is uh, she uh, actually takes care of the bees for Neil. <laughs> no way. Yes. What a weird. Oh, there, there should be some kind of like little hidden code on all of our cards that means that, in, that says that we are bee people. That well, we, if, like, if, bee. I, if you are serious about it, I can actually put you in some peop- in touch with some people who can help you out and really get you going for real. So that's pretty cool. Well, now, now is that so? That's something you can do on the side because I, I, I originally the question was predicated on your failing in life. <laughs> like if no. you fail, what would you do second? <laughs> so I would like to talk to them, but I also don't want to give up yet. <laughs> oh no, no, yeah, you know, I think it's something they do on the side. I don't, you know, I mean, I think uh, Neil cool. Neil doesn't sell his honey or anything like that. He, he, he it's yeah. purely. You know, he has some space. Where like he hobbyist. Is. Kind of. Yeah, and it's something that he yeah. wanted to do, and and uh, and there was somebody there that cool. wanted to help him out to do that. But you, oh, you know who? Oh my gosh, you know who else is a beekeeper? <laughs> um, me, my dad. No, <laughs> Trace Trace Beaulieu keeps bees. Is he really? Yes. No way! All these people are beekeepers. <laughs> I'm telling you, you if, if you ser- if you're serious about making it happen, I can I can actually help you out and do that. So you know, I wonder. I've never I've never thought about it. you know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Like I'm going to you know I'm going to put a, a beehive on the top of my house in my neighborhood. But I wonder like what invo- what goes into that. You know, like, well I, I think know. you have yeah, to I, you have to buy the bees, and then and yeah, then okay. depending on where you are. Like I don't know what the rules are in LA, but you may have to get like a farmer's license or something like that. But uh, I just keep them in my car. <laughs> oh, there you go, perfect. Or where they? Yeah, I just put a bunch of <laughs> put a bunch of flowers and uh, you know and stuff in the trunk, and then just leave them in the back seat. You can actually just wear them around too in LA, just like a beard of bees. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'll be like the snake guy, but it's like a, you know kicking it up a notch. <laughs> there you go. Um, I'm see if I can cover my python with bees. <laughs> that's gonna be that's how badass I'm gonna be. I'm gonna cover my python I wear around my neck. <laughs> well, we'll talk offline about the beekeeping thing because uh, I think if you're serious, I, I can actually I, that that's something I can help you with. So um, I would and, love to hear more. Anyway, uh, here is my Barbara Walters sort of question: Is okay. what is the trait you most value in others? See, here's where I want to. If I were an Andy Kaufman type, uh, make my jokes in real life, I would wait for ten minutes to answer that, and then I'd say patience. <laughs> But I think I will say probably uh, uh, for for real. Like I mean, I, obviously, oh boy, I would say sense of humor. Um, but I, I I'm torn between sense of humor and uh, empathy, or like kind of tragic comic sympathy. You know, like that kind of. So I, I feel like there's a there's a word for. Mm, 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 let's say patience. No, let's say. Uh, Let's say sympathy. Yeah, let's go with sympathy. I think that's. Uh, I think that pretty much. If you were, which which the one that like you're cool with somebody else being different than you because that's just all right. It's okay if they're different than you. You understand because you're different from them. And that's. I believe that's empathy. Okay, let's roll with empathy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's just say that. I'm just making that up. I'm. I'm. I'm I sure. think that was what it is. 
Yeah. I'll think about it. And I'll try to create a word for it later. I was going to say apathetic. That's apathy. No, it's not. <laughs> apathy, yeah. It's one of the pathies. I'm just into pathies. If you're a pathy person, we're going to get along.